Hey guys, here are all of your quick fire questions for AQA Biology Topic 3 Infection and Response. Remember, if you want to get a hook of all these questions, which you can fill it in as we are going along, you can get that from the free version guide, which is over on my website. And if you want to get these questions, everything else, the whole topic of work these, and loads and loads of revision stuff for you, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those out. Define pathogen. This is just anything that causes disease. What is a virus? A virus is a small part of DNA in a protein coat which replicates inside cells. What is a bacteria? This is a small um, organism that replicates very quickly. What is a protest? It's easier to say what these are not because they are not animals, plants, or fungi, but they are very small organisms. What is a fungi? This is going to be large, filamentous, um, organism, and it's going to include mushrooms. How can diseases be spread in plants? This is going to be through the help of teeny tiny little animals, insects, which move from plant to plant. How can diseases be spread in animals? This can be through um, the, the waste, through the urine or the feces. This can be through um, uh, skin contact. Or transfer of other bodily fluids like water, saliva. How do bacteria reproduce inside the body? Bacteria reproduce inside the body very quickly by dividing themselves. This can be as quickly as every 20 minutes. How do viruses reproduce inside the body? They invade a cell copy themselves and then burst out of the cell. How can bacteria make a person feel ill? This is going to be by producing toxins. How can a virus make someone feel ill? When they burst out of a cell, they kill the cell, so that is going to be cell death. And large amounts of cell death is generally what makes someone feel ill. Measles is a highly infectious virus. Which we don't see very much in the UK anymore because the majority of people have been vaccinated against it. It can have serious consequences if you haven't been vaccinated against it. But it's going to start off with um, flu-like symptoms leading to a rash. HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. And it makes people ill because it kills so many of the white blood cells that they're really susceptible to um, diseases, other pathogens. What is TMV? This is tobacco, tobacco mosaic virus.
and it infects the leaves of plants causing them to have a speckled, a blotchy or a mosaic appearance. What is salmonella? You are going to know this more commonly as food poisoning. Gonorrhea is a bacteria that will give you a nasty sexually transmitted disease. Rose black spot is called by a fungus that discolours the leaves of rose and turns them black. What is malaria? Malaria is caused by a parasite called plasmodium. It's spread in the blood and can be spread by mosquitoes, so even a single mosquito bite is enough to potentially give you malaria. How does the skin protect the body? This is a barrier. It stops things getting in. How does the nose protect the body? It has hair, which acts as like a little net to catch anything that's going in, and to go with that it has mucus. And this is sticky, and as I'm sure you know, it's sticky, nasty, can be sometimes quite a lot of it. And this traps things, it sticks things, anything that's going in your nose will get trapped by the hair and the mucus. How does a trachea help protect your body? Like the nose, it has tiny little hair, cilia, and mucus, which is going to trap anything that gets in. The bronchi are going to have the same function. How does the stomach protect the body? That is going to be via stomach acid. What is the role of the immune system? That is to prevent any foreign um, cells, so viruses, bacteria, getting in and making you sick. White blood cells do a number of things. They recognise pathogens. And destroy them. How do vaccinations work? That is a small part of the virus. that's injected into you so that your white blood cells can learn that it's dangerous and can protect you. White blood cells What are antibiotics? These are drugs that kill bacteria. What is antibiotic resistance? This is where bacteria develop a resistance for antibiotics which doesn't work. Painkillers are used to stop pain. Digitalis comes from foxgloves. Aspirin comes from willow, specifically the bark. And penicillin comes from mould. Three things that drugs need to be tested for. Side effects. Dosage and efficacy, which is how well it works.